And there it is. That is the end of the boss. Let's grab the rest of the rings for a little more ring bonus. <laughs> Even though it gave, gave me like two more ring bonus, I mean 200 more ring bonus, it's kind of useless, honestly. Well, I guess every point counts. So here's Spring Stadium. Um, I think I'm gonna... No, I'll start doing some of it in this part, because I've got quite a, lot of, quite a lot of seconds left in this part, and I'm just blowing through these stages. <laughs> And yeah, I thought this game was going to take me a lot more time than it has. Uh, can you kill this thing? No, you can't. I, I, I forgot if I could kill that thing or not. Oh, these things, they are spiky floors. See that? See the spikes come out of the floors like that? You do not want to get spiked. That would kind of hurt a little bit. And those uh, things on the floor, not all of them are springs. Keep that in mind. Uh, before I was so rudely interrupted by my camera, I was trying to say that only some of these are springs, as you can see, like, by that. So, the part of the trick of the level is to find out what spring, I mean, which are springs and which are not. So, yeah. Whoa, shoot. Oh, don't touch those puffer fish when they're all uh, uh, expanded like that. They're all spiky. And uh, those balloons you can bounce off of, as you can see there. Hey there, crab guy, how's it going? But they have a, he has a spiky head, but surprisingly it does not hurt. <laughs> Don't ask me why, and I'm pretty sure the last enemy and- Oh, I only have four of them. Uh, where's the last one residing then? Oh, and those spiked floors really aren't as dangerous as a lot of people think. You can just keep jumping on them like this, and yeah, they'll never hurt you. As long as you stay in the air for as long as- Oof, I wasn't really paying attention there. As long as you stay in the air as long as possible, they will not hurt you. And there's a whole load of spiky floors right here. Wow. There's the number five, and spring. There we go. See, I had to find which one was the right one. Oh, I lost my homing shield. And there's the ring. <laughs> yeah, you have to touch the orange part of the ring to make the ring activate. And there's a tube. I like tubes. They put you in a good place. <laughs> And there's some nice things. Uh, invincibility, that's helpful as I said. Because you can pretty much run over anything you want, like that, yeah. And there's tails. Why, are they he why the heck are tails and knuckles just standing around in levels anyway? Shouldn't they be trying to help you? I mean, seriously, if they wanted to take you to the special zones, why do you need 50 rings to, to let them take you to the special zones? Are they are they giving you a price to get you to the go to those special zones? Because that's kind of rude of your friends, honestly. And there's a spider. And he's not very harmful. And there's, I bet you that leads to... Uh, does this go back or does it go forward? Oh, this goes forward, okay. Just wanted to make sure there, because I didn't want to screw it up there. Or I probably did screw it up, because I've only got two flickies at this point. Uh, there's a couple balloons there. Oh wait, there's two paths. That, okay, now it makes sense. So there's knuckles up there. Let's see if I can climb up this hill. Uh, okay. And this leads back to over here. Okay. So I guess I have to go down here then anyway. Don't need knuckles. As I said, special stages. I hate them in Sonic games. And there's a lot of balloons. Very, very, very a lot of balloons. <laughs> I suppose this is like a carnival themed area, so to speak, and by the way, stand under their shadows and then just jump up underneath them when they retract their pufferness in. That's how you can hit them much easier. Um, later on, there's very similar flooring to those spikes that's actually electricity, but they're far less deadly because you can use, just use a blue shield to repel the electricity. Yes, blue shields can actually repel electricity if you did not know that. And I guess this is the end of Act 1. Wow, time sure flies when you're talking a lot. <laughs> yeah, it was actually 3 minutes 36 seconds. Okay, I guess the stages are getting a little longer due to, due to the uh, extra amounts of exploration, so to speak, for the areas. And yeah, I'll just climb this down this hill. The hill is not really much of a problem. Hey, there's a puffer fish. And only, I, I, he's kind of like out of water, which doesn't make much sense. But he's just there, and he seems pretty happy to be out of water. Maybe he's some genetically. Ah! engineered puffer fish or maybe he's another robot by Eggman which I'm saying which I'm sure is about the correct analysis for it but to say that if it is a real puffer fish it would be unrealistic for it to be out of the water because it kind of needs it to breathe I'll oh, see those little holes on the floor I'll cover those a little bit later oh I guess I'll be covering them right now because there's only a shield up here okay the spikes come out of them Yee! like that yeah ah 
Yeah, so don't walk over those. They're, they're much more deadly than the spiked floors because they pop out right away when you walk over them. So if you're going to walk across them, do it fast. So it's more like running across them, not walking across them. So that was a poor choice of words on my part. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's an enemy up here. Or not. There's invincibility. So where's the last... Oh wait, this is a spot that has the last enemy. Okay. And this should be a dead end? Yes, it is. And then over here is the ring. And I do not need those rings. I've already got five lives. I've accumulated a good amount of lives here. And these spike balls really aren't the problem as you see when you're invincible. But they might be a little tricky to avoid if you don't have any invincibility on them because of the hill area. It's very difficult to jump up or run around hills if you don't have a good amount of speed. So you usually end up having to... Uh, oh, this is on a hill. Oh, it's going to be hard. Okay, never mind. Uh, so it's very hard to get enough. Oh no, not those. What the heck? The, I, no, never mind. <laughs> it's like it's like they're I don't know scheming against you. It's like hey, we're hiding out over here. Sonic will never find us. He'll never get all the chaos emeralds where he is. <laughs> He'll never find us. Also, <laughs> sobs. Well, whatever. <laughs> Oh, ow! I just kind of ran right into that one. That was my fault. I wasn't jumping at all. There's the green woo -hoo! Green one right there. And going up, going up, and going up. And don't worry that you don't have all the flickies at this point. You can go back if you need to with that there. But I'm pretty sure there is only three in this area. So, <clears throat> so don't get your panties in a bunch. <laughs> And there's another crab enemy. Attack is weak point for massive damage. And yeah. Oh, there's another pufferfish. And by the way, he pufferfishes are also invulnerable while they are spiky. So don't bother jumping at them even when you are invincible yourself. And there's another herbs tube. And leading to the third area of this game. Or I shouldn't say game of this. Uh, what's the name of this level? I forgot the name. Ah! <laughs> And yeah, there's the rings, and okay, you gotta do something really fast, like bones, 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 okay, like that. Just walk from the corner to the to the balloons, and yeah, you'll have just enough speed to hit the balloons at the right at the right timing. That would definitely be a, the best way to hit them. Yeah, and there should be another enemy coming up over here. There it is. Oh, this is a bad position. Really, really bad position. <laughs> Um, oh boy, well I got three, There's, come on, number four, oh I hate, see that's why those orange ones are so hard to get back, can I kind of spin up this hill, let's see if I can, yes, okay, it'll be much easier to get it or not from up here, and there we go, alright, where's the ring, oh, spiked walls, do not touch the spiked walls, they'll hurt a little bit, <laughs> and there's the end ring, yay, and to the X. The X Zone, which is not really much of an X Zone, but an end to a zone. That she actually is more like an act. We went over through this in Sonic Advance 3. Zones are the whole world, and acts are the stages. Ah, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> and uh, basically, he's floating high enough in midair. Robotnik here, and when he comes down to pff, that was stupid. When he comes down to swing like a madman like this, you have to get around behind him and hit him. So best thing you can do is kind of circle him. I mean, circle that middle platform like this, and wait for him to come down. So then you can hit him and rinse and repeat. He gets faster and faster as the battle goes. But hey, what other boss? I mean, what boss in the game doesn't do that? So see, like I can't hit him from the front there. So I have to go around him in a counterclockwise circle, preferably. You can do clockwise as well, but I don't know, counterclockwise just seems more comfortable for me. And I highly recommend doing whatever feels com comfortable for you in a game walkthrough or a game itself so you are able to pass it. So, oops, so maybe this strategy works for me, but if it doesn't work for you, I recommend doing... Dang camera! Okay, go, 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 go! Pom, 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 hit! There we go! And uh, sometimes it just seems like it's inevitable that you're going to take a hit by Eggman. Or I should say Robotnik. He's, he's not Eggman in this generation of Sonic. See, like right there, it was very, very hard to avoid where his... Ow, that was my fault there. And I'm going to grab this ring, this last ring over here and hit him. Yeah, there was the last hit. Yeah, sometimes it's very unavoidable. I don't know why. It, it just it just happens that way because you hit him and he backs up into you while you're... Uh, slower and then you just kind of
bounce away from him. So, I mean, and then he goes right into you with his spiked arm. So that ends this part. So I'll see you guys in the next part. We do Diamond Dust Zone.